Salam sejahtera para penduduk dan rakan-rakan Ang Mokyo. Di Jalan Kayu, para penduduk telah menikmati pelbagai perubahan yang telah mendatangkan kesenangan dan kemudahan. Sudut riada bagi warga emas dan tempat belajar untuk para pelajar telah diadakan untuk memberi lebih peluang berinteraksi sesama penduduk. Tempat jalan yang bertutup dan tempat menurunkan penumpang kereta telah dibina untuk memastikan para penduduk dapat berteduh pada hari hujan maupun panas. Khidmat bas juga telah diubah suai untuk para penduduk. Contohnya, khidmat bas 265 kini akan berhenti di dalam interchange bas Ang Mokyo. Perubahan-perubahan ini dapat dicapai kerana kami, Parti PAP, telah bekerjasama dengan para penduduk, menerima maklum balas dari penduduk dan memohon kepada agensi-agensi tertentu untuk memastikan para penduduk mendapat apa yang mereka perlukan dan inginkan di kawasan perumahan Jalan Kayu. Kami telah memberikan anda tumpuan dan mendengar dengan prihatin Rintihan-rintihan anda Banyak lagi Yang boleh kita lakukan bersama Hab sukan akan dibina di Buangkok Dalam masa dua atau tiga tahun lagi Ini akan memberi peluang Bagi para penduduk jalan kayu Untuk menikmati kemudahan Bersukan dan beriada Dengan adanya gelanggang futsal Badminton dan sebagainya Kami berharap dengan adanya Kemudahan ini Keluarga-keluarga di Jalan Kayu akan dapat meluangkan masa bersama dan ini akan mengeratkan lagi perhubungan kekeluargaan di kalangan kita. Hab sukan ini akan dibina bersebelahan Balai Rakyat Baru di Buangkok Kelak. Selain daripada itu, kami akan menyediakan tempat letak kereta yang bertingkat bagi para penduduk di Serangun North, Avenue 4. Sekali lagi, semua ini dapat dilakukan kerana kami, Parti PAP telah bekerjasama dengan para penduduk, menerima maklum balas dari anda semua dan memohon kepada agensi-agensi tertentu untuk memastikan apa yang para penduduk inginkan dan mahukan dapat diberikan. Kami tidak mengabaikan pendapat maklum balas atau rintihan para penduduk, walau bagaimana kecil atau peribadi masalah yang dihadapi. Contohnya, sewaktu saya membuat lawatan rumah ke rumah di Serangun North Avenue 4, saya telah bertemu seorang warga emas yang tinggal di hujung koridor di tingkat 5. Beliau menanyakan, di manakah mantan anggota Parlimen Encik Wee Siu Kim? Beliau berkata dia ingin mengucapkan ribuan terima kasih kepada Encik Wee kerana telah membenarkan pembinaan tempat pemegang tangan dari lobi di lift tingkat 5 hingga ke flatnya, khusus untuk beliau. Warga emas ini menghidap penyakit jantung dan tidak begitu kuat ketika berjalan. Dan tempat pemegang tangan itu dapat membenarkan beliau berjalan dengan sendiri dari rumah beliau hingga ke lobi lift dan seterusnya di kolong blok. Beliau amat terharu sekali dengan apa yang Encik Wee telah lakukan untuk beliau. Walaupun ianya bukan sesuatu yang pernah atau lazim dibina untuk para penduduk. Baru-baru ini, saya telah bertemu dengan seorang lelaki yang memerlukan bantuan untuk menjaga anaknya yang baru berumur enam minggu. Isteri beliau menghidap penyakit dan sedang dirawat di hospital. Dan tiada orang yang boleh membantu beliau menjaga anaknya yang masih kecil lagi. Beliau pula harus mencari nafkah dan berulang alik ke hospital untuk menjaga isterinya. Kami telah menawarkan bantuan untuk menjaga anak kecilnya di pusat jagaan bayi kami di Jalan Kayu. Ini adalah penyusunan khas buat beliau untuk membantunya sehingga isteri beliau pulih dan beliau boleh mendapatkan bantuan penjagaan bayinya sendiri. Ini adalah contoh-contoh bahawa walau bagaimana kecil atau peribadi masalah yang dihadapi, kami, Parti PAP sedia mendengar dan membantu selagi ianya mampu kami lakukan. Ini juga adalah, pransap, adalah prinsip parti kami. 
kami bersikap terbuka dan fleksibel. Kami tidak menawarkan ideologi, tetapi kami menawarkan penyelesaian yang boleh memanfaatkan para penduduk dan rakyat jelata. Dan kami melaksanakan apa yang kami janjikan. Lihat di sekeliling kita, pembangunan infrastruktur dan kemudahan awam adalah contoh pelaksanaan janji kita. Kami percaya bahawa kita terus bekerjasama dan berkongsi pendapat. Kita boleh bersama menjamin masa depan. Terima kasih. Good evening, residents and friends of Ang Mokyo. In Jalan Kayu, residents have enjoyed many developments and improvements that have helped to uplift the standard of living and enhance the sense of belonging to Jalan Kayu. Many senior citizens and study corners have been built to provide convenient communal areas that encourage neighborly interactions. Covered lingways and covered drop-off points for cars have also been built so that residents can get shelter from both sun and rain. Bus services have also been changed to better accommodate residents. For example, bus service 265 now stops in the Ang Mokyo bus interchange so that it is more convenient for residents. These improvements could be achieved because we, the PAP, have worked with the residents. We work closely with the residents. We listen to feedback and we appeal to the relevant agencies to ensure that residents get what they need and what they desire in the housing estate, in both Jalan Kayu and Ang Mokyo as a whole. But more can still be done together. A new mini sports hub will be built in Buangkok in a couple of years' time. This will provide opportunities for Jalan Kayu residents and Ang Mokyo residents to enjoy sporting and recreational activities. We hope that these facilities in Jalan Kayu, in Buangkok, will allow families in Ang Mokyo to spend more time together, and this will help to strengthen familial ties among us. Then, Jalan Kayu will not be known only for its prata, but also for strong family and social cohesion. We will also build a new multi-storey car park for residents in Serangoon North Avenue 4. And once again, all this will be done because we, the PAP, have worked closely with residents. We have listened to your feedback and we have appealed to the relevant agencies to ensure that you get what you want and what you desire in your housing estate in Ang Mokyo. We do not take lightly your opinions, feedback, or your frustrations, no matter how small or how personal they are. For instance, when I conducted house-to-house -house visits in Serangoon North Avenue 4, I met an elderly lady who lives at the end of the corridor on the fifth floor. She asked me, where is former MP, Mr. Wee Siu Kim? She said that she wanted to meet him so that she can thank him personally for fulfilling her request. Mr. Wee had asked the town council to specially build a hand support bar all the way from the lift lobby on the fifth floor to a house at the end of the corridor. The elderly lady suffers from a heart condition and she's not very strong when she walks on her own. But with the hand support bar, she's able to walk on her own from her house to the lift lobby and down to the void deck. Recently, I met a man who needed help in taking care of his young son, who is only six weeks old. His wife is ill and being treated in hospital, and there is no one to help him take care of his young baby. He needs to work to pay the bills, and he needs to regularly visit his wife in hospital. 
we offered to take care of his young baby at our infant care centre, even though we normally take in babies only three months and above. This is a special arrangement for the man so that we can help him until his wife is well, is discharged from hospital, and he can get a more permanent help in the care of his young baby. We understand his dire need at this point in time. These are examples of regardless how small or how personal problems may be that residents may have. We are always ready to listen and help as long as we are able to do so. This is also the principle of the People's Action Party, the PAP. We are ready to listen. We are always open and flexible when we need to be. We do not offer ideologies or mere rhetorics and conjectures. We offer solutions that can be implemented and that will benefit residents in Singapore. We do not make populist promises, but for those promises that we make, we fulfill them. Look around us. Infrastructural developments and public amenities which are well maintained. These are evidence of us fulfilling our promises. I believe that if we continue to work closely together and strive for greater things, we are able to secure our future together. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Intan.